So we'll have lower body tension and then we'll have upper body tension. And the key is when we wind, you're gonna wanna see tension. So we always ask this at our camps. How many people understand separation? How many people understand stretch reflex? And how many people don't understand that? When you look at drills, you're trying to set up that separation component and that's what's gonna create tension. You want tension in the right spot. A lot of athletes will create tension in the wrong spot and then they don't feel the throw right, then technical development is incorrect. We wanna feel tension. A lot of times when people, we do this with the band, so people are used to a PVC, right? And they kind of put it on, they put a PVC in and they move and it's gonna help create separation. So I think a tool is good for that. So what we wanna do, we wanna understand, so when we put a band on, one of the things that we're trying to do is create tension and we wanna notice the shoulder position. Sometimes you get kids who do this kind of thing, you basically, they get tight and that's gonna shorten them up. You have to be able to stretch. We wanna understand just simple tension, creating the right tension on the arm. So by extending, and keeping the shoulders here, right, versus up here. I have an athlete mm -hmm. who throws like this, and that shortens everything up, and that's where the bands really come in. Okay, so we're gonna look at shoulder separation. So rotational throws, of course. What do we have? We have uh, two types of separation in the discus, shoulders and hips, and we have arm shoulder. So if I, I'm gonna kind of aim this way, and you're gonna see that I'm gonna be here. The key is like we're talking here, you have arms, legs, lower body, right? Upper body, so where's tension here and where's tension on the lower body? So we use double bands, right? So that's why we put them in a pack because these are also super simple to tote it around. You can throw them in a backpack, they're easy. So you're gonna notice we'll go here, and so one of the things we'll do is we usually put the bands below the knee because this recruits the muscles and you'll notice that you'll see a lot of kids stand like this and they're throwing and they're doing this. So you notice the band, there's no tension. So what they want to do is they need to understand this feeling. It's a very simple thing in the throw, but this is a really critical thing to learn technique faster. So when we put the band on in the knees, you basically want it loose, right? You don't tighten the band so it's so it's like this, and then you have artificial tension because then you, you will have tension very easily. So you want the band to be loose so it forces the knees to come out and track the toes. So one of the things that we do is we'll create lower body tension and upper body tension. So when we move, you're gonna see, let me do this, I have limited space. So we're gonna do this, you'll see the lower body feels this, and then the upper body feels this. And you're gonna notice the key thing here is that when I'm showing you that, my hips don't move. So here's the thing. This is what I always tell everybody. This is what we'll do in camp. So here's an example. Everybody put your hand on your chest and you're gonna pick up your finger so you can see me like this and we're gonna do the slap. How fast can you move the finger? Okay, so we pick it up and if we're out there, everybody gets unlimited free lifetime coaching if you can beat me. So you guys are all gonna pick up your finger like this and you're gonna snap it down and what I'm going to do to make sure you never beat me is this. I'm going to press my hand against my chest. I'm going to peel my finger and I'm going to snap. So you see that? So this is stretch reflex. And that's way more fast. That's way, that's much more power. You can't do this. And this is what so many beginning throwers tend to do. They're trying to throw like this and they don't understand how to move their body and create that. That's what we do with our drills and that's what we do when we utilize bands. We're trying to create tension and we're trying to feel athletes how to move with tension and so you're going to notice when I show you that I'm moving with my knees apart. I'm creating that tension on the lower body so I'm going to create that stretch reflex which is going to help facilitate the path of my sweep leg not without consciously learning how to actively do it which is it going to be an important thing and again we feel that in pillar one and two but you're really main you're setting it up in that pillar one but you will feel it obviously through that pillar two as well